In this video, I'm going to show you how to create compositions from existing layers through pre-composing. I'll be using the pre-composing project from the Chapter 20 Folders Exercise files. And this is the same file that we looked at in the last movie, and we have this knight that's doing this cool little jab here. Meow. And what we're going to do is select one of these layers, and make sure the composition is selected, and hit Command A or Control A to select all layers. Then go to the Layer menu, not the Composition menu. Go to the Layer menu and select Pre-Compose. By the way, the shortcut is Command Shift C or Control Shift C on the PC. This is one to remember, folks. This is one you're going to be doing an awful lot of when you start getting the hang of working in After Effects. So I'm going to select this. Little dialog box pops up. You can rename the comp if you want to. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to hit OK. And now this object is its own layer, like we talked about in the last movie. It is essentially a nested composition. Now what we're going to do is go over to the castle scene. And this not pre-composed comp is now consisted of this one nested comp. So we're going to go to the castle scene, 01, and we are going to go to the project panel. And we're going to go to our not pre-composed comp here, which now consists of our pre-composed knight, and drag this down to the castle scene as a layer. I'm going to hit S to scale this down. Let's say we want to put him on the lawn. And let's say we want an army of these knights. What I could do is select this layer and hit Command D or Control D on the PC to duplicate this. And if we want to, you know, we could maybe adjust the scale a little bit on this one because maybe this guy's a little bit shorter or whatever. Probably not that much shorter. But uh, we could keep duplicating these layers and moving these all over the place. We basically are building ourselves an army of these little knight guys. And actually, that original guy is bothering me because he's so much bigger than the rest. He's like the daddy knight. So I'm going to take this back down to about 7% like the rest of them. Now, if I play this, you'll see that they all play back in unison because it's all the same composition. So this is a great way to create a big army or when you're doing something like motion graphics to have one element that's just repeated all over the place. Now, what we could also do is click these layers and drag them in time. Maybe click on them and drag them to the left so that some of them start a little bit later than the others. I might want to do this maybe a little bit, a little bit more here. But now when I hit the home key and play this back, they're all at different phases, so they kind of look like different objects. It's a quick way to create a big random army. Now what I could also do is again add hue saturation like we looked at in the last movie. Maybe I'll double click hue saturation and apply one to this guy. Change the color. This is the guy that we're changing here. I could right click on him and go to transform and select flip horizontal. And then I could move him over here and make it like he's one of the opposing forces. And then I could hit command D and duplicate that guy a few times. So now there's just an all out war. How cool is that? So I hit the home key and I preview this. And now we have our own little mini war on the steps of the castle. So in a nutshell, pre-composing is great for transforming objects, quickly duplicating objects, and also still maintaining that editability. In the next movie, I'm going to show you some new features in After Effects CS4 that allow you to jump around compositions quickly.